Alrighty, so I've made quite a few videos talking about Aleth AI and why I'm excited with what they're doing in the NFT, crypto, and artificial intelligence space. And since I've made a lot of these videos, I've had quite a few questions come my way. And as I've been talking to other content creators and other people in the crypto and NFT space, there were quite a few common recurring questions and misconceptions that I figured, you know what, I'm just going to make a video to address them. So let's get into it. So when I'm talking to other people and other content creators or people that are not content creators but are interested in the NFT space, here, let me get myself out of the way so I can show you. And those people are interested in it, they go to OpenSea.io and try to look up Aletheia. And the first thing that pops up is the revenants. So they'll click on the revenants, go to check out what it's about. And when they see the price tag of uh, 32 Ethereum for the floor price, they're like, yeah, that's not a project for me. 32 Ethereum is a little bit out of my price range or a lot of bit, depending on where you're from or what your financial situation is like. And so understandably, the 32 Ethereum floor price is a very high price to get into an NFT project at. However, the revenants are more of a crypto punks or bored apes of the INFT protocol. There were only 100 of them built and the personalities for these revenants were pre-built by Aletheia AI. So I've zoomed in a ridiculous amount so that you can see the description for the revenants on the screen. But the revenants are the world's first intelligent collectibles, 100 intelligent NFTs or INFTs depicting historical and cultural icons reborn from Nikola Tesla to Napoleon to Cleopatra. The world's greatest minds are now brought to life as intelligent NFTs. However, like I said, this collection of 100 is not meant for the average user. And instead of checking out the revenants, uh, what people fail to do is checking out the personality pods, which are currently sitting at 0.3 ETH floor as I'm making this video. That might go up, that might go down depending on the market or the demand for them. But I think personally, the personality pods are a better way to get into and experiment with the ecosystem because of the fact that it's a lot lower floor price obviously but also the fact that you can customize the personality for your INFT. Now I've made numerous videos talking about the different personality pod levels for the intelligence levels that is and what their possibilities are and how you can upgrade them but you can purchase anything from a level one two three and i think there were some level four listings on OpenSea as well but owning a personality pod will basically allow you to customize the personality for your inft and then you select the nft that you want to fuse it with in order to create the intelligent nft and this of course leads me into the next most common question or concern or misconception that i see about this project in again the comments for my videos and in the community in general the misconception being this is a very, very complex project. I won't be able to keep up with it. Now, while this project is complex to a certain point, I think that the way that they are approaching artificial intelligence and NFTs is a lot easier than if you were to try to understand it all on your own. Now, Leith AI, through their personality Lego modules, whatever you want to call them, has simplified the process of creating your artificial intelligence uh, personality for your INFT. And they've done this by allowing you to train your personality pod in a set of different modules and instead of trying to feed it the proper data sets. What you do is you end up entering a name, voice, filters, appearance, occupation, primary drive, identity, habits, likes, psyche, lore, iterations, AI skills, and their AI engine will actually take whatever you put into these personality Legos. So like likes, for example, you just a short sentence and their AI engine will take and apply the proper data sets to build out the personality for your intelligent NFT. Now, Alethea has done a great job of providing creative writing classes for an AI personality, uh, addressing these Legos and how you want to approach them and what you want to put in there to be able to build out a personality for your character, or I should say build out a character for your personality pod. So is the project complex kind of, but at the same time with the amount of resources available from Aletheia between their creative writing classes and their white paper, I think that this project isn't as difficult to understand and grasp as some people may think. And worst case, if you don't understand it, check out some of my walkthrough videos, selfless plug, where I go over creating my own personality or I guess my own character for my personality pods. The third most common question, concern, misconception that I see is that if somebody doesn't own one of the 10 approved collections, that they're not able to then participate in the ecosystem and create their own INFT. The currently 10 approved collections being Bored Apes, Pudgy Penguins, Fame Lady Squad, Boss Beauties, Fluff World, Y Fusion, Doge Pound Polymorphs, Uninterested Unicorns, and Stoner Cats. Now addressing this concern is is kind of tricky because I don't know when Aletheia is going to be approving more collections. However, in previous AMAs and the master classes, they have mentioned that they are working on making it easier for more collections to be added to the supported list, as well as the fact that Sarah mentioned in one of the master classes that we will have the ability to customize a character. I'm assuming similar to how the revenants are built out 
and be able to use that for our INFT, which personally I'm more excited for than fusing it with an existing NFT because then not only would the personality be customizable, but also the way that your INFT looks. However, we don't have a uh, scheduled date, I guess, for that anytime soon. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on the Discord and the Twitter and hope that that comes sooner than later. But until then, some of these collections aren't super expensive if you wanted to mess with fusing and bringing an INFT to life. However, you don't need to own an NFT to be able to train your personality pod. So if you're looking just to experiment with the ecosystem and see what a personality pod can do and kind of build out your own personality for it, you can do so. You don't need to own one of the 10 approved projects. And if a project that speaks to you later in the future, or once they release the customizable characters, you can go with that option as well. And then for the last two most common questions that I see are people that have bought into the project and are interacting with the ecosystem. So the question being is, I bought a personality pod. I filled out all the personality Legos. Now what? Truth be told, I don't know. I'm just kidding. In the near future, Alethea, AI is going to be releasing additional personality Legos as well as the fusing process for fusing it with an NFT. However, we don't have exact dates for that yet. So what I would suggest is uh, camp their Discord, camp their Twitter profile, and keep an eye out for the updates as they come out. There are going to be chances for rewards for the Elite AI token and uh, potentially other stuff. As an example, they just gave away 25,000 credits during the last masterclass to people that were able to answer some trivia questions about Elite AI. But yeah, like I said, there are other updates that they're working on as well as ways to reward the community. One of which is the staking options for the Elite AI token holders. However, like I said, we don't have any concrete dates yet, so just hang out in the Discord group. Great community, by the way. Maybe you'll learn something. And inadvertently, I kind of answered the question that I was saving for last. The question being is, I missed out on the staking options. Will there be more opportunities to earn in the future? So like I mentioned, Elite AI is working on staking options for Elite AI token holders. But not only that, they're also working on a train to earn model, which instead of going into depth about it, I'm going to refer you to their white paper, which you can find at alethea.gitbook.io and then scrolling down on the earn option and clicking on that. And here you can read up on their train to earn model that they're working on building out that'll allow not only people to earn Elite AI credits, but also for their INFTs to earn Elite AI credits by providing various services or having intelligence battles with other INFTs, etc. Anyways, like I said, I just wanted to make this video to help answer some of the questions, concerns, and misconceptions that I've seen since I've started creating videos about Elite AI. However, if you have additional questions, concerns, or even comments, feel free to drop them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them because at the end of the day, we're just trying to figure this thing out together. Anyways, again, thank you for watching and I will catch you later.